What is going on guys? My name is Bucky Roberts and welcome to your very first tutorial in the Ruby programming language. Now in these video tutorials what I'm going to be doing is teaching you guys all about the Ruby programming code but before we start jumping into messing with the code the very first thing we need to do is actually install Ruby on our computer. So I am running a Windows machine and one of the cool things about Ruby is you can practice Ruby on a Mac or Linux or Windows. Now the installation process is a little bit different for each but I'm going to guess most of you guys watching these videos have Windows. So I'm going to show you guys how to install it on a Windows machine but just keep in mind that the installation process is different for a Mac than it is Linux than it is Windows. So everyone on Windows in order to install Ruby this is what you do go to the website rubyinstaller.org now my guess is that the website is gonna look a little bit different depending on when you're watching this video but nonetheless go to the section where you download the Ruby installer and just go ahead and hit the button now there are gonna be a bunch of different Ruby installers just go ahead and choose the most recent version unless it's in beta or something like that now just go ahead and click it and whenever you do it's gonna download an executable file this is the file that you need to run on your computer in order to of course install Ruby now go ahead and double click this and if you're running Google Chrome you can just go ahead and click the file on the bottom but once you double click this executable file it's gonna say are you sure you wanna run this file well yes computer of course that's why we just clicked it so run and of course make sure speed read through all these Bzz. okay go ahead next does anyone really read those things anyways not me so one of the things that we need to take note of is we have a bunch of optional checkboxes here now whenever we have optional checkboxes make sure you select them all because hey we want the full package here I'll explain to you guys whenever we're working with Ruby what all these things mean but for now just make sure you have all of these checkboxes checked the default area is probably the best area to choose and go ahead and hit install now it's a really um, small file so it's not going to be long to download and it's not going to take too long to install so once it does it's going to give you a little message that says okay Ruby is now installed on your computer awesome so just go ahead and hit finish now it says it's installed but is it really was it lying to us in order to verify that it was installed go ahead to your start menu and choose all programs and now scroll down and hopefully you have a folder called Ruby something so go ahead and click this and choose the program that says interactive Ruby this is where we're going to be doing a lot of our learning Ruby so basically I'll explain interactive Ruby a little bit more in depth later on but it pretty much turns code that we write into code the computer can run immediately basically something that we can understand into code that the computer can understand so I'll show you guys how to uh, I'll give you guys a little tour in the next video but just so we can play around with it just so we can say we type some code in this tutorial go ahead and give it a simple math problem like 2 plus um, 10 or something like that now go ahead and hit enter and it should give you your answer of 12 if you can run any command any math problem and it gives you the answer then you are good to go so that is all I'm gonna give you guys for this tutorial again make sure you have Ruby installed if you have any questions you can just go ahead on my forum tnbforum.com and ask me then and we can go ahead and troubleshoot it for you but anyways in the next lesson what I'm gonna be doing is talking to you guys about what all these numbers mean right here and we're gonna be start coding in Ruby so that's what you have to look forward to thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video